Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to use data bar in SSRS report. So data bar is a simple column or bar chart that we can use inside the columns. So these are very small or tiny charts that helps us to take a look on the data. So let me go ahead and create one of the data bar report so you would know the details so if you want to stop the video here and take a look on all those details what we are going to do here you can take a look and uh, now let me show you the query we are going to use here so select asterisk from dbo total sale table and uh, we have a lot of columns here but for this report we are going to use a region so let's uh, write our que uh, query and second part, uh, we would like to use uh, the sum of the items sold. So we would like to have summary report. I'm going to select items sold. And next, uh, we would like to have uh, the date. So sold date. Here, the sold date is uh, the full date. We have year, month, and day. But I would like to get the month. So we would like to have summary report uh, by the region and then sum of items sold. and. Uh, by the month that's what we would like to see for each of the month we would like to have a data bar and see the number like how many items are sold so i'm what i'm going to do here i'm going to use date name function to get the month name and call sold date as a month name one more thing i would like to do i would like to get the month number we will see that uh, where I will use that. So right now just get the month number. So let's call the date part and uh, use month and the uh, sold date as month number. So we are all set uh, with our query. We have month name and month number. So let's take this query and go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. I already have created SSRS project. Uh, right click on the reports uh, go to add button new item and then click on the report uh, provide the name we are going to call this one data bar report uh, add now on the data sources uh, right click add data source uh, provide the name let's call this one ds sales and uh, this is going to use shared data source reference uh, i have created already a shared data source uh, in this uh, project uh, it's a good idea to create a shared data source if you are creating multiple reports from the same database. So hit OK. Next, right click on the data set, add data set and provide the name. Let's call this one DS, sorry, D set sales. Use as embedded in my report, select the data source, provide the query. You can use a store procedure if you have it here. Hit OK. Next, in the design surface, uh, right click, go to insert and bring the matrix, matrix uh, report. So this is going to be summary report. And in the rows, uh, we would like to see the regions. So bring the regions here. And then uh, in the data, we would like to see the items sold. So this is going to be the sum of items sold. On the right side, I would like to see the data bars. So right click here, insert a column and inside group. You can add another column right here. And then what we are going to do, we are going to use the data bars here. So right click in the box, go to insert and select the data bar. Now here you will see data bar and column, uh, data column. So these are the same charts what we have used in our uh, column chart and uh, what was uh, the bar chart so th there are different types in the bar chart we have uh, here we have bar we have a uh, stacked bar and we have 100 percent stacked bar in the data column we have column stacked column and 100 percent stacked column so these are the exactly same uh, charts but they are tiny here so we can convert them to full if we would like that later so right now let's go with column first and hit ok once uh, you are here click on that uh, part and you will see the chart data this is exactly the same window what we see in the chart window when we create a column chart or bar chart so here you have to provide the values so i'm going to provide items sold and next in the category i would like to have by month name so that's that's all we need to do let's let's expand this one a little bit 
if you would like to put a border background color and all that you can play with those things i'm not gonna uh, spend time on that part i'm going to concentrate only on the data bars preview as you can see that uh, now the values are shown uh, so we can see these bars uh, and their heights uh, with the values uh. for asia the total items uh, sold is 10 and uh, we can see the items sold for each of the month so there are four months uh, uh, in which uh, we sold some uh, some items in asia region but we do not really know for which months uh, as of now so i'm gonna go back here and then uh, right click first of all i would like to uh, select uh, show data labels that tell me exact number of those items sold so i can see that okay two items sold two items sold one and five so and for the next uh, for europe uh, only sale happen in three months uh, so in the first month uh, 10 items sold then we sold three two items and uh, then sold three but we don't really know in which months uh, so that's kind of confusing so we can uh, have something like that let's say if we would like to have tool tape uh, when we hover our mouse uh, it should show us uh, those month names uh. so let's right click uh, and go to the series properties and then uh, go to the tool taper if i click here i will see count region some and the other counts i'm not interested in any counts so i would like to have a month name so click on fx and then go to the fields and select the month name hit ok hit ok now we will see the month names come in here so once we hover our mouse we see april we see july we see june and we say may so if you notice that these months uh, are randomly sorted uh, or we have April, October and uh, September. So they are not really sorted. Uh, that's where I was talking about we can sort them. Uh. So let's go back here and uh, if we click again. So in the month uh, name uh, category group, uh, click here and then right click and uh, category group properties uh, and uh, go to sorting. Uh, right now they are sorted by the month uh, name. Uh, we are not interested uh, in the sort, sorting of uh, these values by the month name. We would like to do by month number. So that will be more accurate. Hit OK. Preview the report. And now you can see that uh, for April we have two, for May and then we have uh, June and then we have uh, July. So now they are uh, sorted. Uh, so you can hover your mouse and see them. Uh, you can also if you like to display instead of these data labels you can display the month name if you like and uh, let's say if you do something like that you click on these data, data labels then say series labels properties and here label data so right now you see all those values here if you click on expression and go to the fields then you can select the month name hit ok yes and preview now you can see even uh, we have displayed the month names uh, for them uh, you can also display the values and months together so you can write these expressions uh, we can concatenate the values with the month names if you would like uh, so i'm not going to spend time uh, here but go ahead uh, you play with this one but you know, now you know that you can display the number itself you can uh, hover your mouse uh, and uh, see the month uh, or or if you like uh, you can have the month name itself uh, uh, or category group values uh, whatever you want to show on here you can change them uh, accordingly now next uh, we would like to see a few more things uh, right now let me do control z that will revert back and we will see the data labels here and then uh, we have already uh, settings for our uh, mouse hovering uh, that shows us the month name instead of uh, having uh, the category group i would like to see the series group i'm going to delete this one so let's delete category group and bring uh, the month name in the series group now by doing it uh, we will see different colors now also we have to sort uh, right here so click here and they say series group properties and sorting and here let's sort by month number so it okay now preview the report and now you can see them in different uh, colors uh, so here we see april and then we have uh, may and uh, we have june and uh, july 
Next, uh, if we would like to see them on top of each other, that's also possible. Instead of uh, right next to each other, we can right click change data bar type and uh, now we can select stacked column. Once you select the stacked column, you will see them on top of each other. And here you go. Now you can see that they are on top of each other. This, uh, In this case, uh, they might need some more space from you to display them. And you can change that and that's how you will see them. But let's uh, change them to another type. So right click on the, sorry, click here and then say change the data bar type. And now let's uh, change them to the bar itself. Before that we were playing with the column. Now hit OK. Review. And you can see in the bar uh, type. Now here is April. Then we have May. Then we have June. And then we have July. So you can make them small or big. That's your choice. You, you might want to make them a little smaller. And they will automatically adjust in that box. And you can, uh, as we have already uh, done uh, tool tip, uh, we, when we hover our mouse, so we see those months. Uh, and uh, this is where we see the values, actual values. Uh, so we see that for Europe, uh, in the month of April, that's where we made a lot of sales. So 10 items were sold. So this is how you will be creating uh, your data bars in SSRS support or using them in the columns. Now, if you right click here, change data bar and the, the second option is convert to full chart. So you can convert this data bar type chart to the full chart. Let's click that one and see what happened. Now, if you see that that's the same full chart is displayed in the same text box or a column. And let's preview that one. And now you can see that uh, it is displaying correctly, but uh, there is uh, not enough space. Uh, so let's make some space. And now the full chart uh, is displayed and uh, we see those uh, series here. And uh, this is our values uh, and this is a bar type uh, chart. So thanks very much for watching this video and I hope uh, you learned something out of this. Uh, and I will see you guys in next uh, video.